I'm going to say a little something about myself to start off with. Um, not really going into loads of details about my life. Um, I was born to an average family of seven. That was average in them days because there was no TV. Uh, grew up poor but happy. Always felt different and alone in the world. Some of this might still own to one or two of you. I lived in a world of make-believe. Uh, obviously at the time it was a mental health issue, I just didn't know because I was young. Uh, everything was made believe a, a stick was a gun, which was a four day plane for me. I kept myself to myself and that's just the way I were. I used to hear strange voices, thoughts, more than voices, I used to hear a lot of thoughts. Uh, I just thought I was gifted and overactive, had an overactive mind. That's just how I thought it was. Uh, so I liked to play alone a lot. Uh, was I bullied at school? Yes. Did that affect me? I don't know. I just learned how to fight and survive and be a loner. Uh, that's, that's how my life was. Uh, then as I got older, I became more and more aware that these thoughts were normal, that, that I was something different. Um, I learned to live with it. I was an honor to camp DJ uh, and red coat, so I could play these fantasies within my work, that's what you do at other camps, you know, it did a bit where we were. Um, I never really felt like that fight or flight feeling that some people feel. I just felt that I had to defend myself and, and fight. Uh, so, one of the things I did to stop being bullied, and as I got older, was I learnt to box. Uh, I never fought professionally, I didn't want to go in the room and fight professionally. I didn't fought, I fought, learnt to fight and learnt to box, and that became me, hobby. that became a release for frustration. Uh, and the way that my life was. Uh, I fought a few fam famous people, Frank Bruno. I actually fought and beat Frank Bruno. Uh, in fact, I did so well in the fight at the time. Uh, Frank said to me, you do so well, I'm going to give you my gloves that I've wore. And um, he signed them for me. In fact, I've got the very gloves here. They're, um, it was only three at the time, by the way. <laughs> but he signed them. So, uh, yeah, so, but no, so I used that. Uh, then I had a big breakdown about over 10 years ago now. I had many breakdowns, had a lot of breakdowns, didn't know what they were. I'd, I'd have to escape, I'd have to run away and escape and be alone. Uh, then I had a big breakdown, um, but it was a bad time, it was a bad time. Uh, but thanks to Rethink, where you come down, I mean, I'm, I'm where a lot of people who just start to come to Rethink, well, I was in that situation once. But thanks to Rethink, uh, doing classes, um, having support, uh, doing all those sort of things. I learned, to f I learned that, I wasn't clever at school, but I learned that learning about mental health helped me to understand mental health. I understood what was wrong with me, I understood I could be, this could cause this, A could cause B, a trigger schemas and all that. I understood uh, about things like that, and I also found that distraction through learning and multitasking uh, and doing my boxing and giving lectures and doing running groups and things like that, helped me. It helped me to be me. It helped me to cope with my mental illness. I'm not cured. I don't think I'll ever be cured. I think, uh, I believe we walk a tightrope. But as long as we focus on where we put our feet and we distract ourselves and we look on the end goal and we look, that we, we, we can be well. We can be well. We can stay stable as long as we focus and you think and be aware of, of, of what's happened to you. Um, I'm not going to go into diagnosis and, and things like that because everyone's different. Um, you know, I've done the pills, I've done the counselling, uh, I've passed, uh, as I said, I went on to, I've passed loads of diplomas, and I've got certificates on certificates. I've done loads of diplomas and I understand mental health, I've been NCE to mental, I understand mental health back to front. Um, so my conclusion is, uh, yes, we need our medication. I still take my medication, it keeps me stable. Uh, but as I show you in the slideshow, I don't believe the pill is a cure. I think you're the cure. I think the cure is within you. Take your pills to keep you stable, but the cure is within you and within your understanding. And that's why I hope to show you today. I hope to show you that there's methods, there's different ways of looking at things. Uh, that there is open understanding and being in control of your mental illness, because it is an illness. Um, I said I don't have the cure. I'm a qualified the therapist. I can hypnotise people, I can use mind, complete mind therapies and things like that. Uh, but I think the cure is in everybody's subconscious. It's the cures in with you, not with the doctors, and I haven't got them cures. Um, I've learned that I'm not mad. Basically, I don't think I'm mad, I'm unwell. I'm no different than someone with a broken leg or cancer, God forbid. 
People with cancer. I've got an illness that I've got to carry through my life and I've got to deal with it and I've got to learn to deal with it and I've got to make the most of it and use it to my advantage, not to my disadvantage. And that means looking at things with hope. Looking at things when you're having a bad day, looking at why you're having a bad day, what it was like to have a good day, comparing and using them, them skills. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to go too retrieve. So sometimes I believe, I'm going to put this slideshow on, <coughs> I believe that we don't always see things. Um, I'm not going to illustrate. I think. I think sometimes we need hope. You need that hope that things are going to get better. You're going to have better days, and you need to understand yourself and understand your day. So you need that hope and understand it. So I'm going to use a few little things and gimmicks just to try and uh, show you. The cure isn't the pill. As I said, the cure is in you. You're your own best doctor. You understand yourself better than anyone does, but you can use that with your doctors when you go see psychiatrists and your doctors to explain how your days are and how you feel. If you look one way, she goes one way. If you look the other way, she goes the other way. The others follow. I'm using this just to show you but sometimes it's how you look at things. So sometimes you might look at, think it's a bad day, and you're looking towards a bad day. But really, if you look and thought, well, it's not actually, it's not such a bad day. I can get out and go for a walk, I can do things. It could be a good day. You understand that? I'm using that just to show you. It's how you look at things in life and how you understand them. And I'm just using that optical illusion for that, for that reason. She was actually moving to the right all the time. Okay? So sometimes... It's not as you see it until you've seen it from all directions. Your mental illness, your life, uh, the way you look at daily things, it's not always how you think it is at first. You get up and think, I'm having a bad day, it's going to be a bad day. But what if you got up and thought, oh, it feels like a bad day today, I need to make it a good day. I want to go out for a walk, I'm going to do this, I want to do something I enjoy. I want to eat something I enjoy. I'm going to put positivity instead of the negativity. I'm going to make myself positive rather than negative. So I'm going to be in control. I'm going to look where I want to look. I'm going to make this way what I want to make it. So that's, that's what I'm trying to get across to you. That sometimes it's not easy. Uh, sometimes we, 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 have, we have to do that to run your own life, basically. Uh, so remember, it's not how we look at the positive and the negative and where we put them and which ones we decide to choose. Okay. The next thing I'm going to show you, again, is... It's a, it's, it's a video. Uh, it's quite distressing at the beginning. I have to show you. Occasionally we have triggers. <coughs> it is quite dis distressing at the beginning, but watch it to the end, because at the end, we're going to give you hope and understanding, and then you're going to see something different. So it's, again, it's about seeing something, seeing it at the end, and then seeing what it could be real like, and the thing. So I'm going to show you this video. It is a very powerful video. Listen to the words, and read the words on the screen, and listen to the words. I am broken. I don't accept the idea that tomorrow will be a better day. I have been impacted and life as I know it is over. I don't believe I have the courage to keep going. This fight will never end. My new normal is that hopelessness is more powerful than hope. Darkness defeats light. My heart keeps saying our journey will be forgotten. I refuse to believe that something good will come from this. Life is beautiful is a lie. I don't have any fight left. Nothing can lift me up. You cannot tell me I am strong and things will get easier. I know that life will never be the same. Does it have to be this way? What if hope could turn this around? Life will never be the same. I know that things will get easier. And I am strong. You cannot tell me nothing can lift me up. I don't have any fight left is a lie. Life is beautiful and something good will come from this. 
I refuse to believe that our journey will be forgotten. My heart keeps saying, light defeats darkness. Hope is more powerful than hopelessness. My new normal is that this fight will never end. But I have the courage to keep going. I don't believe life as I know it is over. I have been impacted, and tomorrow will be a better day. I don't accept the idea that I am broken. So do you see, that very first was a bad day, wasn't it? It was very negative. It was bad, life broken. But when you got to the end and you turned it around, and so this is on YouTube, by the way, if anybody wants to download it, and I'm going to give the words away as a present later. Uh, when you turned it around and looked at it from a different, back to front, if you like, from a different thing, life wasn't broken. Life, there was a lot of positives in there. A lot of things that were, were, were good in there. There was good days, and that's why it's life. There's good days, and there's bad days. If it's a bad day, make it a good day. Use your positivity to make it a good day. That's what it's about. That's how to deal with your mental health. And this is what I've used. These are the tools that I've used. And look at me, they're working for me, and they work for me, and they make the things better for me. Because I turn things around, and I use positivity rather than negativity. Uh, you know, and I decide what choices uh, that I make. Um, so as I say, you've got to see things from all sides, and that's what been brief, that's what I've tried to show you here today, despite the technical issues, that's what I've tried to show you here today, to look at things from, from all sides and have hope, and I want you to have hope, and I want you to uh, have understanding uh, in your life, and I want you to be better, I want you to have a better life, uh, and that's what I'm talking about today, uh, and as a thank you for coming today, uh, I think the words that, I'm sure you agree, the words of that video are very powerful, so what I've done, Printed the words off if you take the one away with you, if you'd like to, you don't have to, if you'd like to. Uh, and I'd like to think you put it in a frame or you put it in a wallet, you put it somewhere you see it. When you're having a negative day, you will read this, you remember what I've done, you remember the show, you'll read this and then you'll read it from back to front and it will give you a positive and understanding. So, so I've got them as well if you'd like to, if you'd like to take one with you. Um, that's about it, I, you know, I'm going to be doing more talks, if you follow me in the future, I'm bringing more talks here, I'm bringing one on anxiety, understanding anxiety, I don't know, I still suffer from anxiety, understanding anxiety, how to deal with it, how to use, I've not gone into the tools today, but how to use tools that I use to deal with it, uh, I've also got a uh, talk on meditation in mental health, how to relax yourself, I will teach you how to meditate, I'll teach you how to sit down for five minutes and meditate, I'm not going to hypnotise anybody, but I'll teach you how to meditate, and how to you know stress de-stress yourself and calm yourself down. So thanks for coming, thanks for listening.